Hi guys, it's Jimmy from Crafts Names and Things. So today I'm going to show you how to make, how to reuse your junk mail and old magazine pages that you have to make beautiful pattern paper like this, which is great. You can make happy mail envelopes with this. You can use it for collages. I love to use it for collages. The best part is that it's just paint. I don't even use ink. I just use paint um, because I don't have a lot of inks and um, I just kind of love to use my own homemade stuff. So let me show you really quick how to do this. So first step is you're going to get some paint down. Okay, so over here I just have, I was doing the journals, um, journal pages of five, art journaling by five with Sharon Green. So um, I just had some paint left over. So I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and do this video to get rid of that paint. And I can show you guys this technique. So this is a... Uh, just a pellet knife and all you're going to do is you just spread out some paint okay and it doesn't have to be fully like where you don't see any part of the magazine page because what's going to happen is we're going to cover it with stamps so you don't really have to worry about it okay so just cover it add a whole bunch of different colors you know, if you have some sponges, makeup sponges like I have around here, you can kind of sponge those out a little bit to add some texture. Okay. What I like to do is I like to just take this and kind of make some texture lines because it will show up when we do our stenciling and stamping. Okay. So that's the first one done. Okay. Let's do another one. Okay. You can kind of use up your stuff on here. Okay, so let's try pink. And I have, I finally bought a jelly plate, but I need to get more paints because I've been using them for all sorts of stuff. So, and I really don't buy the big tubes. I think I'm going to have to start doing that because I just go through so much paint. It's ridiculous. So, but I'm a cheapy girl. So I'm like, oh, well, I can just get a little one. But I have a feeling that I'm really going to like jelly printing, so probably that won't be enough anymore. Okay. Okay. And I love it when a little bit of the page comes through. So I love it when the text comes through, all that stuff. Okay, so that's the way that, that one looks. And quick, like, don't even think about it, please. Just put it down. Just put down your paint. That's all you're doing. You're not thinking about placement. This is just a good way to just free your mind. No. But I totally was so disappointed with the stencil part because that's part three of Sharon Green's Art Journaling by Five. And of course, that's the problem. I thought that I would have difficulties with that because I like to think about like placement of things when I do my art journal pages so I haven't just let that go where I'm just like oh let me just put this here and no big deal yeah that did not go so well for me so I'm just glad that we get some free time so I can actually use stamps I was so concentrated on the stencils that I didn't even get to the stamps can you believe that so it's kind of crazy okay okay go. Alrighty. Okay. So that's the way they look. So um, I'm going to blow, blow dryer these. And seriously, that's what I'm using is a blow dryer. Sorry, I don't know who that is. Okay. And that's what I'm using is a blow dryer. So um, my mom, but I'll call her back in a few minutes.
right. So this looks blank. Looks a hot mess right now. Okay. So what we do is we're going to just kind of squeeze out our paint. So, um, so let's go with black. And I just have an assortment of homemade stamps that I make. And that's what I do is I just make homemade ones. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to just brush some colors on this one. This one makes lines. And I'll make a video too of how to make these stamps. I mean, it's pretty self explanatory, and there's tons of videos on there, but I like to show you my techniques. Okay, so we'll just take that and just press down, and it creates these really cool lines. Okay? Alrighty, so let's do. So I have that out. I'm gonna rub some color on here. And I find that with this one, it works better with a foam brush. So I need to get my foam brush. And I should have a brayer. Here we go. I was just doing this video, and now where the heck did I do with my brayer? Okay. You can also just apply pressure, and it'll work. Okay. Oh, I can use this one. It's a little hard, but it'll work. Okay. Hmm. That is so weird. I totally just had it too. I hate that. When you mix play stuff like I do often. Well, okay, well, we'll move on to stamps. Because I cannot find my brayer. Because you can absolutely just use stamps and that's fine. Okay, but I wanted to show you the texture that you could add. So you can take this and we're just going to apply some paint on those little guys there. Okay, like that. Press down and see, you get the little marks there. I have to show you my favorite stamp. So my favorite stamp is this one, okay? This one is my absolute favorite, okay? And let's do purple. We'll do my favorite color for my favorite stamp, okay? Just gonna take it, I'm just gonna brush it on there, just like that, okay? okay. And then you just take it and you press it down, okay? And I don't know why I can't find my soft foam brush, but I am just having problems today. Okay, there we go. Which is very strange because normally I'm very organized, but I've been going with the flow, I think, a little too long. I've lost my organization. <laughs> okay, oh, there it is right here, right by my computer. So it works a lot better if you do. A foam brush for these. That's a trick that I finally found out worked. See? Much better. Okay. And I still don't know where my braver is or why it's missing. And this one has a whole bunch of dots. So I'm going to show you how that looks like. But the thing is that you just want to fill it up with a bunch of doodles and stamps. Okay. So that's what we're doing. We're not a bunch of different colors bunch of doodles. Your colors are going to mix together. That's totally okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay, just like that. I can stamp that on there. But you get the point. The point is just to fill it up with a whole bunch of different things. And we can even do some bubble wrap, which I love. Bubble wrap is a wonderful thing. So you just take your brush, foam it out, and stick that down too. And if you wanted to, you could do inks on here. But you're just going to use up these sheets and just build them. Just build it with color. Okay, that's the whole point of it. 
and the more mixed up and grungy it looks, the better, because you're just going to use these for collages and Happy Mail, and it just gives it so much interest. Okay. All right. Okay, and I want some lines, some more lines. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab some black because I think that it needs black. And I like black as contrast. So that's just my preference. That's too hard. I need, you need a soft brush for this if you're going to use the foam stamps. I've noticed it does need to be a soft bristle brush. Okay, and you just take it, press it down. Press it down, okay? But see, look at all that texture and beautifulness. Okay, it looks like it's just beautiful, okay? So that's an easy way for you to make these sheets in 11 minutes. I can't believe I made it. So um, you'll just kind of add more components. Let me show you a few. Um, since we finished a little bit more than I thought. Oops. So this one is one that I made. Isn't that pretty? Just with the same stamps, just with homemade stamps. I just have a whole bunch of homemade stamps that I use. I don't use ink. I don't I do not do anything fancy. I just use my homemade stamps, and that one's beautiful. And that's like a heart, um, flower-shaped foam stamp that I got. And then those are just funny shapes. And what I did is I went to the dollar store, and they have all these fun shapes. Like, look at that in the foam sticker. So I just use regular... I just use tacky glue to make sure it's down there good. And um, I mean, you could even use these little guys as stamps. So these are just little bead things that you get at the dollar store in the packages. So you can just kind of press those down just to add a little bit to it. So it's just so much fun. And the main thing with this is that it's not really thinking. You're just adding a bunch of different elements to the page. So you don't have to, I mean, you could use shelving, you could just use whatever you want, kind of, okay? There's one, and you just want to build it up as much as you can, okay? Until it has lots of layers and textures, okay? So um, I'm going to show you some things that we can do with that. You could definitely make it into a journal. Um, there's just so much that you can do with these sheets, but I'm going to show you how to make handmade homemade envelopes very, very easily. So um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Thanks.